Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech. My name is Dave Hayes and this is the channel where we talk about pretty much anything tech. For those of you that have been following my Telegram chat group, you know that my grandson just picked up another guitar. I, I don't want to do a really long yakety type video. I really want to get into this and let you guys see this guitar and hear it. And what he ended up getting was the Inspired by Gibson Epiphone J200. This thing is gorgeous. Now you can see the case. Now this case did not come with this guitar. And this case is actually an SKB case and it's made specifically for either the Gibson SJ200 or the Epiphone J200. So when we come back, we're gonna go ahead and open this up, let you guys take a look at it. And then we're gonna go ahead and dive in to let you all hear it. And I'm going to let Noah do most of the uh, strumming on this thing because there's no way I'm going to do this justice. So what do you say we go ahead and get into this video? And as always, if you liked my video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, think about subscribing. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. That way you get a notification of my videos as soon as I release them. Okay, so I have a camera mounted overhead, and I hope it picks everything up nicely. You're going to get better shots of this guitar later on in the video too, but I do want to show you this case and the guitar quickly. Now, the case has five latches. This case is also airline approved, and it is lockable, and... It, the case fits this guitar like a glove, and I am not kidding you. This is the locking latch. Here we go. Now, there you guys go. You can now see the guitar in its case. And what's really cool, this guitar even comes with a humidifier. Now, uh, I've seen some people make videos saying that this guitar is made in China. No, it is not. This guitar is made in Indonesia. This is not Epiphone's normal guitars that they make overseas. This guitar is in Gibson, inspired by Gibson product lineup, okay? What that means is Epiphone is basically making three or four of Gibson's high dollar guitars in all solid wood construction but selling it to you in a very, very reduced price, okay? This guitar sells for, I think it's $7.99. It has a Sitka spruce top. It's got the mustache bridge. This wood is not rosewood, and I forget the name of it. I'll try to put that in there as well. It has mother of pearl inlay. This is not plastic. This is true mother of pearl inlay. It's got it both on the uh, fretboard and on the mustache bridge and in the Epiphone logo up top here. I don't know if you can see the, the Epiphone logo here. That's all in Mother of Pearl. I'm just gonna flip the guitar over and it is a very, very snug fit. Here is the back of the guitar. I hope this camera is picking that up. I know the camera's not gonna show it, but when you look at it at different angles, it almost looks like the wood is moving. And this is solid quilted maple. I mean, it is gorgeous and it's got an awesome sound. You guys will hear that later on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this completely out of this case and let you guys see the guitar real quick. So basically, I just wanted to show you this guitar and try to explain some of the things that is involved with the guitar, what it comes with and so on. It comes with its own humidifier, and I don't know if that's going to zoom in on this. But basically, this is a sound hole humidifier that goes into the sound hole, and it has a sponge in here, just like all the other humidifiers that we use. But this completely closes up the sound hole, so all the moisture in here is readily available to be absorbed into the guitar. This is a nice moisturizer for the guitar. I'd love to be able to find one of these uh, out on the open market to purchase for my other guitars, but yeah, I, I, I'll have to do some searching. I don't know if it's showing the flame maple back on this, 
a lot of the guitars I saw <laughs> on YouTube on the videos did not show that kind of you know quality in the flame maple it's got a maple neck uh, with a mahogany uh, strip so it's a three-piece maple neck mahogany strip in the center and again this is all solid wood construction so what do you say we go ahead and uh, go to Noah playing this guitar now kind of uh, a stain and a, a finish. It is a gloss finish, but not like a super glossy. It, it has like an aged look. Go ahead and show the uh, beautiful, oh my goodness, I don't even know if you guys can see that, but as he moves it, you can just see it almost looks like the maple winks at you, kind of. This is basically flamed maple. Some people call it curly maple. Same on the sides, and this is not plywood, you all. This is solid, solid maple, flame maple. Same with the side, solid side. It's got a rosewood bridge, and with real mother of pearl, this is not plastic, real mother of pearl inlays. Here's the headstock, but it's got the uh, mother of pearl uh, inlays here and the epiphone. I think these are Cluson, kind of like Cluson closed back tuners. Want to show them the tuners real quick? And I'm not going to take a lot of your time, guys. But here's the tuners, and they are great tuners. Noah, you want to say anything at all about the guitar before we get into playing it? I like the sound. <laughs> yes. <coughs> there is something about this guitar that I like. I really like this guitar. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking I might have to get myself one now. I'm just going to let Noah go ahead and play this guitar. Noah, anytime you feel like you want to say something about the guitar, you know, to describe it or whatever, you just go. This is going to be a very informal video. Have fun. Noah wrote this song.
Radio Saint. I love that. Now, what I was going to ask you was, what is your overall opinion so far of this guitar? I love it. Okay. It's, it's probably my second favorite or first favorite guitar now. Really? Yeah. yeah. So, again, quality-wise, would you put this up against your Gibson? Oh, yeah. As far as quality-wise? Definitely. Build quality? Yeah. Sound quality? Yeah. I would have to agree. I really would. I know, I know. Every we're gonna get some arguments on this, and I know Gibson guitars. Everybody's gonna say Epiphone is Gibson's junk. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what, guys. What this company is coming out with in it's uh, where do they make them now? Thailand? Indonesia. Indonesia. This company is coming out with some guitars that you guys really need to check out because once you play them you're going to be like wow i can't believe gibson allowed this company to do that because gibson still owns epiphone this is going to be competing against all of gibson's high-end guitars and uh i don't understand why gibson did what they're doing i really don't i think they're not going to make them anymore after like this year I, I i have to agree i think once they find out how many of these sell I think Gibson is going to put a stop to it. But that's just my opinion. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, quickly I wanted to do this add-on because we put a brand new set of guitar strings on this and you have to hear this with new string. Again, we're using Elixir medium strings. They are 
13 to 56s. And these are the Phosphor Bronze Nano Web Strings. So I just figured I'd show you that. Again, gauge is 13 to 56. Those are the ones I kind of like to run on my Recording King. So, Okay, now the mic is set about 12 inches away from the guitar. And it is going to be positioned between fret number 12 and the sound hole. So there you go. Uh, I am using my MXL 770 microphone going into my personas but the microphone goes into that that converts the signal goes into the computer so let's hear what this sounds like with brand new strings i'll use my uh, fin pick first And now I'm going to go to a medium pick. And I'll just play the same thing. This thing is awesome. I'm going to switch back to the regular pick and I'm just going to go through a couple more chords. I'll just play my song that I wrote real quick just for a demonstration. It kind of goes through a lot of different chords. There you go. I, I don't know what else to say, guys, but that's what it sounds like with a brand new set of strings on it. And there you go again. There is that back again. Holy cow. Look at that. All right. Let's get back to the video. All right. Well, everybody, I hope you liked the video. I tried to keep it about as short as I could keep it. I can't say anything but good about this guitar. I've always been an Epiphone fan. Uh, not so much when they moved overseas and they became all plywood construction and stuff, which I thought that was a shame for Epiphone. For those of you that watched any of my videos on my Life Post Stroke channel, you all know I have a 1965 Epiphone Texan FT-79N N for natural. And I love that guitar. That's a guitar that was built in the Gibson plant in Kalamazoo, Michigan. I think it's Michigan. It was in Kalamazoo, and it was built with the same woods by the same people that built Gibson back in 1965. The only difference between mine and, say, uh, the J45 would be uh, mine has a narrower neck, very narrow. I love the neck profile on my uh, FT-79N, and it's got that big, you know, uh, wow, this thing's ringing as I'm talking. It's got that big headstock on it, and, you know, it's just a gorgeous guitar. Now, again, 
they were building these over in China because Gibson wanted to stunt Epiphone because that they were Epiphone was Gibson's biggest competitor at the time. So once they purchased them, it was right about it wasn't once they purchased them, right about 1970, they shipped them over uh, overseas to be built over there, and they said you can build whatever guitars you want, and you know that as long as we approve it, and it's going to be of lower quality. And I mean that was just a shame for Epiphone, but. I don't know why Gibson's doing what they're doing because this is really going to put a hurtin on Gibson. I do not like the Gibson SJ200. I really don't. Or I guess you could call it the Gibson J200. Um, I've heard a lot of people play them. I've heard some of the older ones played. And I honestly don't like the sound of them. And that's just me and my preference for uh, you know a guitar built out of rosewood. But this guitar, even though it is made out of solid maple, very beautiful maple, I might add, I love the sound of this guitar. I don't know what they're doing to it. I don't know if it's the bracing. The, I don't know. I've got no clue. But all I can tell you is if I can come up with the money, I'm going to have one of these for myself. Uh, that's how much I like it. All right, guys. I've kept you long enough. I hope you enjoyed the video. Noah really did his best to uh, to give you guys a good representation of, you know, the different uh, note tones and, and the sound quality of this guitar. So, you know, if you could, give it a thumbs up. It would also help me out a lot if you guys, you know, shared my videos. And, oh, don't forget, whenever I hit 5,000 subscribers, I will be giving away my Canon T6i to one of you. So, again, the sooner we get there, the, the quicker I can give this away. And we are... I think right at 4,000 right now, so spread the word. I want to give this away. So with that said, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching, and I will see you all on the next one. Seriously, guys, you need to check out Epiphone's lineup of Inspired by Gibson. Wow. <laughs>